Bucci, and welcome to this committed prospect interview. I'm sitting here with class of 2018 prospect Kendall Foster, a fellow left-handed hitter, Kendall, and also someone that was a highly touted prospect coming out of high school. And obviously, it still remains the same in college. You are highly touted, and um, I'm so glad you're joining us today. Thank you for having me. Okay, so let's talk about who you are, because I know who you are, and there are a lot of people that know who you are, but originally from Prosper, Texas, left-handed yes, hitter, primary center fielder, but can play all three outfield positions. Sounds a lot like someone that I know. <laughs> yeah. So tell us about yourself as a player. Tell the college coaches out there and everyone that's going to watch this interview who Kendall Foster is. Well, to start, I'm a very loving person. You know, I care about my teammates. I care about the coaches. Um, I want to make a big impact to a program. Um, I know what my worth is, and I, I love the I love the game. And I'll hold on. You, it's okay if I like do that a little yeah, bit. You know? Keep keep going, keep going. You're coming through loud and clear. We, I know you love the game. People know you love the game, and that's something that people do want to hear. Tell me more about that. Like about, I I just don't know where to like. Sorry if I'm messing this up. But, That's um, okay. It's not live, fortunately. Okay, I can edit anything I want. So what I want you to talk about is how you came into playing the game of baseball, why you love it, and why you think that you can excel at this level and the next. Why do you love the game so much? I just... To be honest, I, I just love just everything about baseball is just awesome to me, you know, just like the, the game of failure, you know, I, you know, it's a failure game and you learn from those, you know, and throughout my life and throughout going to, you know, from going to McLennan to NSU, I just, I've learned a lot about how, I mean, I've learned from my failures and I've gotten this far and I'm happy to be like the person I am today. Yeah. And I've known you since... You were a teenager, and now you're 22 years old. As you said, you went to McLennan, played for Coach Thompson down there, and then you transferred to Northwestern State. Mm -hmm. And so obviously programs that are playing at an extremely high level have seen moments in you to let them know that you are a prospect that can make an impact on a program. How would you describe yourself as a player and what makes you have the ability to do the things that you do? I'm very determined. Oh, sorry. Can you still see me? Yep. Yep. Sorry. Keep going. You're very okay. determined and what else? I'm very determined about who I am and you know, what I play for. And I like to get the job done. I'm very confident in myself and I, 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 I give other players, you know, advice. Um, I hype them up. I make sure everybody around me is in a positive mood. I, I love when, you know, I just, I just love helping people too. And I just, I'm a really, I'm a great teammate for others. And, and I know that you love the game and you're a great teammate, but also you can play the game. You can run, you're athletic in the outfield. Your swing is one of the best that I've ever seen coming out of the high school level. And you played at one of the best high schools in the state of Texas, Prosper. And sure. I think that it's, it says a lot that you had so much success there that you were recruited by one of the top programs. A, a lot of people would argue the top program in junior college baseball in McLennan. And I love Coach Thompson because he, in fact, recruited me when he was the recruiting coordinator at Baylor. So I know the type of players and the type of prospects that he likes to recruit but he saw something in you. The coaching staff at NSU saw something in you. And when we first signed you to LPG, I saw something in you. And so when enough people say things about you, I think that um, you know, certain things can happen in your process that, that are out of your control, such as coaching changes and a lot of things to that nature. But I think that when coaches see you at your best, you're playing confidently. And, and I want you to talk about, you know, you, we were talking in the pre-interview of how you, you know, you, you feel like you've matured a lot. And mm -hmm. so I want you to kind of speak to that on how, how 
your confidence level has been affected because you've had certain challenges uh, before and during your college recruiting process? Mm -hmm. Well, where to start is, is, you know, I was really immature when I was in at McLennan and, you know, I, let me reword, let me reword that. Sorry. Sure. When I was when I was at McLennan, you know, I went through a rough patch, you know, being very immature, and you know, I uh, sadly they let me go. Um, and then I went to NSU. Hap I was happy to get a you know a coach to reach out to me and want me, and I appreciate it. And you know, those past three years, you know, I learned a lot about myself and about you know about caring for others, and you know, just trying to be the best person I could possibly be and around other people with that. And because it, it elevates the whole team and self. So, so with you having gone through, cause I went through multiple like transfer processes as well. I went to Blinn out of my first year after I went to Allen high school. Then I went up to Jefferson college in St. Louis played there for two years, won two championships there and then went to Elon university where I played division one ball. So I actually transferred twice what would your advice be and kind of what your has your experience been being a transfer and being now in the transfer portal and looking to impact another program and, and earn a, another college scholarship? Um, I know from what I've gone through, you know, life gets hard and you feel like, you know, it's, you know, you just, you don't have a place yet. You know, you, you're freaking out about where you're going to end up, but, you know, at the end, you just got to be really confident in yourself and confident in your game, confident as a person, um, because it will because people will see those positives in you. And sorry. No, that's good. And so I, I, I agree with you. So let me ask you this. What is one thing through this process that you've learned and what would be your best piece of advice for other prospects going through some of the same things that you're going through? Can you reword that again? I'm sorry. So what would be your advice to prospects that are going through similar challenges that, that you are in your college recruiting process? And, you know, what would you tell those, those prospects that may be, man, I have to transfer multiple times, man, I have, I have a new coaching staff. What would your advice be? Cause you know, you're, you've been through it and you're going through it. So what would you say to them? It's uh, it's very hard mentally. And, you know, it can sneak up on you, but you just got to stay positive to stay through it. And, you know, by with that time, you know, of coaches reaching out to you and everything, that's the time you just get better. You, you just got to continually get better and continue to push yourself. And, you know, and there will be a coach or, you know, coaches that will reach out and, you know, they'll show that interest. And, you know, it's a great feeling, you know. What would be what would be your advice to to college athletes and how important grades are? Grades are very important. You know, they look at that because that can, you know, that can determine whether or not, you know, how much money you even get at that school. Um, it shows you as a person who you are. Like if you're sloppy, it's, your grades will show. If your grades are strong, that will show. Um, grades just overall, you know, that that's just I, I don't know what I was trying to say there at the end, but. You know, well, yeah, it's, it's interesting because we've talked about it with you and being with LPG when you're in high school. We talked about academics a lot. We talk about character a lot. We talk about academics a lot. Why? Because at LPG, what we want to do with our prospects is get you to understand that before you get to the college level. With you being at the college level and having that college experience, I agree with you. I think it's so much more important to be academically minded, especially when, not only when you're in high school, but in, but in college as well. What would you say while you were in high school and we were working together and, and now that you're, you're transferring the most valuable lesson that you've learned from LPG? First of all, you know, LPG has helped me along the way with everything, you know, from, you know, like in high school, things got done when I went with LPG, you know, I was getting calls whenever I started getting into rec recruiting the recruiting process and things started picking up. And, you know, if I needed somebody on my side, it's you, you know, you helped me talk to these coaches the right way. You helped me, you know, you helped me get through situations like tough situations, like, you know, decommitting and, you know, even committing somewhere for the right fit, you know, getting to know that coach and everything. And, you know, LPG just all around, it's just a great, organization that we can help 
others and, you know, like myself to find the right place and right fit. I think, I think it's hundred percent accurate, hundred percent true. So that being said, your best advice, whether prospects are with LPG or not, what is your best advice for the freshmen, sophomores, juniors, and seniors in high school? What would be the number one thing you, th- you would say, this is the most important thing that you need to know about your college recruiting process? It's difficult. Um, there's a lot of schools that are going to show you interest. There's, you know, they're all going to say the same thing, you know, or they're all going to say different things. But, you know, you know, they're all going to say the same things that you're going to hear constantly, like how much they want you and everything. But you just got to find that right, you know, just that right person that you just really connect with and you click with. And, and another thing is, is like high school is totally different from college. When you get up there, they treat that it's a job at that point. High school, you know, it's all fun and games, you know, playoffs and everything. But college, you know, they're investing their time, their money into you and, you know, and it, you know, it could either go wrong or you can go right, you know, just, I, I don't know what I was trying to I say. Was, no, I was just, no, exactly. You're, I was just talking about this on a video coaching newsletter. And I was just saying, when you get to the college level, it is a business. Yeah, for sure. It's a business. And until you've played at that level and experienced that, like we have, it tends to surprise some people because if you're not ready to go your freshman year of college, you're going to realize real quick how tough it is to crack into a lineup and to earn a starting job. Is that right? I mean, it's tough to find playing time at the, at the college level compared to high school. I totally agree. It's hard. So last, last thing, prospects that try to do this on their own, you've had experience going through the transfer portal and what would you say to prospects that are, are in the transfer portal and what would you say is a great way to like potentially get their name out there, whether it's through an LPG, their high school coach, their club coach, because being a transfer in that portal, it's, it's pretty tough. Sometimes there are a lot of prospects in there. Would you agree? I agree. Um, I would say one thing is, is, you know, LPG is a great option. If you want to, you know, get into that, you know, like to find the right place and everything, because you personally, you know, you're a great friend, you're, you're, you, you just help me overall just, you know, understand situations in the mature way in this level at this level. And another thing is, is, um, sorry, what was the, I forgot the last bit of the no, question. So just, just basically saying your advice for prospects that are in the transfer portal, you said, okay, it's good to get someone like me, a college recruiting coordinator or college recruiting advisor on your side. But what would your advice be for the prospects that are really in parents that are trying to do this by themselves? When with my family and everything, we've discussed it and, you know, communication is a big role into with colleges and everything in the recruiting process, because if you don't, if you wait a week or two to reply to an email or a text, they will not, you know, they won't, you know, they won't stop. <laughs> hey, that's right. That's right. It, it changes so fast. It never sleeps. You're absolutely right. And, you know, I, me personally, just going in the transfer portal for this first time, um, you can tell everybody's on a go with this transfer portal, all these coaches, because they're just, it's on a website and they can see everything. And, it, you know, and it's just, it's a, it's a tough game. You know, it's, it's, it's hard to get noticed because there's so many kids. Right. So, right. Abs- absolutely. Lots, lots of kids and, and lots of talent. So I want to end with this because this has been a great interview and I've gotten a lot out of this. What would you, what would you say is something that you would want college coaches to know about what you would bring to their program if, if you were given the opportunity? Um, I have a, I have a really good bat. I have power. I know I do. I work, I work hard to have that. I have a really good arm. I can reach it from the outfield all the way base you want. Um, I have really good speed. I work my tail off again, like I said, to get that speed. You know, I'm just a hard worker. I want to make other people around me better. As my dad always says, I want to be the cow. I'm the cowbell. You know? <laughs> I love your dad, man. I love him. Yeah. You got quite a big family over there, don't you, at the foster household? Yes, sir. Tell, tell me about your family. I know, I know you have several siblings, and your parents have been together a long time. So yeah, tell, tell me about what your family has meant to you. Um, 
you know, through all this, through all the, the pain and, you know, the suffering and everything, I just, at the end of the day, I know that they're always there for me and they're always going to motivate me and try to be the best I could possibly be and support me in everything and every decision I make. I think that's important. I think having a close relationship with your family makes you more recruitable as a prospect. I think that the experience that you bring, having college experience is going to bring something different to a college program. Having done it myself, I went from a junior college program to a division one program and I started immediately, but it was because my, my college coaches put me in the right position to succeed. My, my junior college coach, Sam Carroll, when I was at Jefferson college, he vouched for me, he helped me. And I think a lot of times during the recruiting process, it goes the other way, right? That coaches will put kids in a category that, they don't need to be put in, or they just won't really help them to begin with. I think high school coaches and college coaches should be fans of the kids they recruit and not do anything to try to hurt them or their recruiting process. Because at the end of the day, the baseball world is very small and reputation follows you. Whether you're a coach that's taking care of your prospects or, or not, that definitely will follow you around. And if you're not the type of coach that takes care of your kids, and speaks nicely of them, uh, even if it didn't work out in that particular situation, people find out about that. And, and, and it's, it's interesting hearing how your process has evolved because I think personally that you're gonna be a great addition to another four-year program. I think you have the tools and the skill set to play professionally. And I've seen you grow and I've seen you, you, your game develop over, how long have we known each other? How many years did we, did we say? Seven, Seven years. years. Seven years. That's lucky number seven, man. So I've seen you, I've seen you from an early age, but I think that this interview, this committed prospect interview will help give some insight on who Kendall Foster is. And my goal with LPG is to provide prospects like you a platform to get their name out there and a platform that is with a company that doesn't give up on you just because you had some rough things happen to you. Yeah, I totally appreciate that too. Well, you just continue to work hard and I bet you the right school finds you and I can't wait to, will you, can we do this again? We'll do another interview after you, after you accept a scholarship to a different school. Of course, I'm getting, I'm getting used to it now, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I appreciate you joining this committed prospect interview and to all those that watch this committed prospect interview with class of 2018 prospect Kendall Foster. Kendall, thanks for joining us, and um, I really appreciate you coming on, uh, coming on with me. It's been it's been great. Thank you.